Alright guys, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tackle Tuesday and welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Brad Warren. This is Bearded Brad. I do a ton of saltwater fishing here in the Gulf Coast. And on every Tuesday I post a video of Tackle Tuesday, just doing a little breakdown of different things, all kinds of different things. Today's Tackle Tuesday is sponsored by Fish Gum, the channel. So y'all make sure to go check him out. I got his channel link down below. Show him some love for helping support this channel. Make all this stuff possible. He does a lot of really cool things. As well as he makes the surf fishing bait fish gum. Which I'm sure many of you have heard of. If you have not, um, I'll have a link down below to his website as well. Y'all can go check that out. Today's Tackle Tuesdays, we're going to be talking about the best rig for pier fishing. Now I used this rig for the first time the other day. I used to see people using it all the time when they're at the pier. A lot of times they'll be out there, they'll be throwing diamond jigs or swim baits, crank baits, something like that. And you cannot catch fish. The guy next to you is just catching spanish left and right. It's probably because he's throwing a bubble rig. So I'm going to give a little rundown of how you can tie a bubble rig, why it's effective, and a few different ways that you can use it. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright y'all, so the things you're going to need to tie this bubble rig is your one, you're going to need the bubble. You're going to need some mono leader. I typically will use 50 pound when I'm doing this. Um, I wouldn't really go any, any less than 30. That's just going to help with the, the cutoffs if you're catching bluefish or Spanish. Pretty good chance of getting cut off if you're using some smaller leader. So I like to use 50 pound. You're going to need a swivel, a treble hook, and a straw or some sort. Um, I know a lot of people use like the sunglass holders um, and cut them into little pieces. I'll kind of show you all that when we get there. And I like to use a little bead. But so start tying this rig. What you want to do is start with your main line. This is my braided main line. I use 20 pound braid on just about all my reels. And so I got 20 pound on this one here. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this bubble. You're going to run it right through. Run your braid right through there. All right, and then after you get that bubble line, what you want to do is put a little bead on here. The next thing in line is your swivel. And so what this bead is going to do, so when you tie your knot on this swivel, that bead is going to help protect that knot. So if that bubble is hitting it or something, that bead is just going to give it a little protection. Using a bead right there between the swivel is also good if, you're, if the bubble has a larger... Um, a larger hole on it or if you're if you're doing like a Carolina rig and your weights got a big hole on it putting that bead in there will help prevent that bubble or that weight from actually going over the knot and across the swivel so it just kind of helps keep it in place where it needs to be all right so right now we got the bubble we got the bead and we got the swivel so next you're just going to take your mono leader and you're going to tie that to the swivel I use a uni knot for pretty much everything, so that's all I'm tying right here is just a uni knot. Cinch that down on there, cut the tag in. Alright guys, so next up, this is where you want to use your straw or whatever little tubing or whatever little tubing you can find. This is what's gonna be like the bait. This is what's gonna attract the fish. So we're going to slide this on here. You literally can get away with a McDonald's straw. Some days the color does matter, some days it does not. Um, the, the other day, the last video y'all saw when I was out at the pier, this is the one that was working well for me. This is just pink. And then after that, you just want to tie your treble hook on the other end of this leader. Again, I'm just doing a uni knot here. Alright, cut the tag end off. And so now the straw or whatever you're using is going to slide over that knot and over the base of your hook, just like so. And so now that's your bait. So this is the whole setup we got here. I usually use anywhere from two to three foot of the mono. And so you got the bubble to a bead to the swivel to your mono leader, to your tubing, to your treble hook. And that's it guys. And so what's going to happen when you're working this bait, this bubble is going to be splashing across the top. That sound is going to attract the fish. They're going to think other fish are up there feeding on something. 
And then so then they see this little guy, they're going to think a little bait's back here swimming. And so the bubble itself, all it's doing is making noise and ruckus and splashing. And it's really getting those fish fired up, thinking other things are feeding up there on top. I've not personally tried it, but I've also seen a lot of guys will throw like a little jerk bait or something or even a diamond jig instead of putting this tube and the treble hook on. I think it just really depends. It goes day by day with the Spanish. I would recommend keeping a couple different colors of the straw or the tube and then you could throw on a diamond jig. Just try out different things. See what the fish are fired up on that day. This is definitely the most effective pure lure for catching Spanish and bluefish. A lot of guys will you can catch kings on it and stuff like that. It just gets everything fired up. So really great all around lure. Really easy to tie. So next time you're out there pier fishing, tie one of these bubble rigs on, see how it works out for you. If you have some success with it, comment down below and let me know. If there's any other way that you like to tie your bubble rig, let me know that as well. Or let me know what your favorite pier lure is. If any of you guys have any ideas on another Tackle Tuesday, anything you want to know or you want to see, comment down below, let me know. I'll try to make those videos. Again, I do a Tackle Tuesday every single Tuesday. So please subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's. I got a cool video coming up for y'all on Thursday, so make sure you're tuned in for Thursday's video. It's going to be a good one. So guys, thank you for checking it out. Hope it really helps y'all out. And until next time, y'all take care.